Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed building video. So in today's video I'm going to be building a YouTuber's apartment. So basically the other day I came into my game and I just started building in this apartment which is I think it's 2B Jasmine Suites which is in the Spice District of San Myshuno. And when I originally went in and started building I just planned for two friends to live here. And then halfway through building like the lounge and kitchen area, I kind of just got the inspiration to build an apartment for two streamers or YouTubers or whatever. And so that is what I did today. So as you can kind of see, the floor plan took me like a few minutes, if that. It was actually a really simple floor plan. And it's really strange because I've tried to build in this apartment before. I've built in the opposite apartment, which I think is 2A Jasmine Suites. And that floor plan took me a little while. But with this one, it just kind of came naturally to me, which is a little bit strange because it's one of them apartments that's such an awkward shape and I never really know what to do with it. And so I don't think I've actually done a speed build in this apartment yet as of now. Um, but yeah, so I actually want you to speak about something today. So the other day we had a Maxis monthly live stream and I am so excited about it. If you haven't seen the live stream or anything like that, you can go and watch a replay of it on their Twitch channel or you can just go onto YouTube and someone will probably have like a replay of it. But I watched it the other day and I am so excited for it. So if you don't know what's happening or anything like that, the Sims Gurus announced that within the next six months, we are going to be getting three new packs. We are going to be getting a new expansion pack, a new game pack and a new stuff pack. And I am so excited. I know we don't know what any of the themes are or anything like that, like we don't know what they are going to be, but just for the fact that we know that there is stuff coming and if they do it evenly, that is a pack every two months, which I am so excited for because we've had kind of like a little dry patch where we haven't had much in a little while. We had Get Famous and then we had Strangerville, but it was kind of a little bit like done and dusted after that, if that makes any sense. And so... The fact that we know that there is another three packs coming within the next six months, I am so excited, honestly. I am just, I can't believe it. I'm so happy with it. I know, obviously, we don't know what it is, but it's just the fact that we know that it's not going to be such a dry period. And it's just like, I want to know if there is something coming. I don't care about what it is. I'm kind of excited to find out. I'd, I didn't want anyone to say, oh, it's this pack or that pack because it's like the excitement of it will kind of go. But just the fact that we know that we have new content coming is just really exciting and I cannot wait. But also in the Maxis Monthly live stream, they did actually speak about the new content patch which is coming on Tuesday. And so in this patch, there's going to be some, it's like a new career kind of thing for freelancers. And I'm actually quite happy that they've added this. I know we have the freelance feature anyway in the game, which came with Get Famous, I believe. It was in a like free patch update, but anyone could be a freelancer. But now with the new patch update that's coming next week, you have, I think there's three. So there's like a game developer, I think. It might be a programmer, I might be getting that wrong. There's a writer and there's a painter and they can actually get gigs. So. I just think that's so cool because we have the freelancer thing in the game so anyone can be a freelancer your sim could basically not do anything and just say that they're a freelancer i just i'm just so excited for it i absolutely love patch updates and new content and the patch update is actually fixing quite a lot of bug issues as well i think um which is quite good because obviously who wants a lot of bugs in their game there is quite a lot of bugs in the game as it goes and some of them do need to be fixed i'm quite happy that they're focusing on a lot of bugs as well I saw one of the sim guru tweeted that it's probably their biggest bug fix update since like the whole of the sims 4 time like they haven't done one this big to fix bug fixes i'm saying bug fixes so much um but i'm just really really excited for it and i cannot wait for tuesday especially some of the new stuff that comes with the new kind of patch so there is a new desk there's a new laptop which i'm so excited about because i was watching iron seagull's video and it was actually making me laugh as soon as they announced it but he was saying how he didn't really like the laptops that we got with strangerville because they're too like fat and chunky and i completely agree they are a bit chunky and I would like a little bit of a slimmer and more sleek looking laptop. There's a new laptop that's come in with the game and it's obviously a base game so everyone who has the base game can play it. 
and it's some of the stuff that they have so one of the like color swatches it has a keyboard which has a rainbow effect and that is so cool like i'm so excited for it and there's like some new pen holders and a new desk a new chair there's a whole lot you can probably tell that i'm so excited about it but i'm just so happy that we're getting a content patch thing this month and yeah anyway moving on i'm talking about the build a little bit so you can kind of see that i am doing the kitchen slash dining slash living area so i did this brick like exposed brick wall which i absolutely love i ended up putting it in both the bedrooms and like this like living area so this is a two bedroom apartment i imagine that two men lived here and they're both streamers youtubers whatever they want to be in that kind of career branch if you like um and so i wanted to keep their apartment quite modern and futuristic and so i added some game consoles i added the alexa i added music stations i added a big tv i added like a lot of electronics basically in this house i wanted there to be as many electronics as i could i did also actually add the little streaming thing like the little drone i do add that in but you don't actually see me add that until i don't think you actually see me add it into the very end i kind of finished the build and then i realized that I needed that in my build if there were going to be streamers and so i do add that in but i don't think you see that i might be wrong though but i don't think you do um but as you can see i went for quite an industrial type of kitchen which i really really like i love doing industrial type penthouses and all that i don't actually often do them i think i might have like one or two on my channel but i absolutely love the style of an industrial penthouse even though this is just like a little apartment in the spice district i still wanted to give that kind of penthouse feel maybe the people that live here they are up and coming youtubers or up and coming streamers whatever you want them to be and this is kind of like their starting off point but it's got a lot so they don't really need to upgrade anything they just maybe want to move to a bigger apartment in time but it's definitely somewhere where if they've gained maybe a couple hundred k that they wanted to move to or something like that um but i do really really like this apartment i actually it only took me about an hour to build this when i was building it, it it just all came naturally to me what i wanted to put and everything just came into place and especially with the industrial slash modern kind of theme it was quite easy to decorate i used quite a lot of objects which i don't really tend to use um i used that bookshelf from the fitness stuff pack which i don't think i've ever used in a build or at least a speed build which i think fitted in perfectly with this apartment and you can kind of see that i'm adding some debug menu items onto it just to clutter it up a little bit i added the i think it's like a, a metal that your sims can find around the world and it just looks cool on the little stand so i added that in as well but in a minute i am going to move over and just kind of do this little side wall bit so i didn't really know what i wanted to put here i did think about putting some graffiti and all of that kind of stuff but the graffiti was when i was putting the going into like three wall mode it was floating and that kind of annoyed me so i just ended up putting these get famous paintings in i think there's four black and white swatches and i just went for the three i think it gives a really really cool effect um but i am just doing the little walkway by the door now i just added some shoes and like an umbrella rack all that kind of stuff and then with this little side bit walking into like the bedroom bit i wanted to add some paintings so i added two that we got from the fitness stuff pack I do really like them paintings but i kind of wish they came in more swatches because there is only like three or four i don't think that we have that many paintings in the game that just have like a solid black frame i know that one of them the frame is actually like a dark brown instead of a black but i feel like it's so minor that you won't be able to notice um but anyway i'm just going to move on and do the bathroom now so I know this is a very small bathroom. It's actually, I think it's called a Jack and Jill bathroom. I'm not completely sure. I might be getting that wrong, but I think it's called a Jack and Jill bathroom when you have two bedrooms leading into the one bathroom. And so I wanted to put a shower, bath, toilet, and a sink in here. And I managed to make it squeeze. Like it is a very small bathroom. There's not much movement around in this bathroom. Your Sims might have to like walk very slimmingly, if that makes any sense, to get around this bathroom. It is a very tight bathroom but i think everything works i'm actually going to go into the game and just test it out and if it doesn't work i haven't tested it yet but if it doesn't work i'll shuffle some things around and make it work because i do want to have that bath in here i want your sims to be able to have a luxurious bath after a really long live stream or something like that and i want you to shower in here as well just because showers are so they're just so ideal because sometimes your sims take quite a long time in the bath and so i definitely wanted to shower in here 
um but i did just add this little wall shelf thing which i've been doing quite a lot in my bathrooms recently i just feel like it makes a bathroom more nicer if that's the word to even use <laughs> just because i feel like bathrooms are a little bit boring to furnish and so i've been doing this recently in my bills and i feel like it just gives the bathroom just that little bit extra just so it's not as plain and boring like a just a normal bathroom but anyway i am now moving on and doing the bedroom so there is two bedrooms in this apartment so one of the bedrooms is slightly bigger than the other i kind of had the mindset that the one sim that lives in this bedroom which i'm furnishing is maybe the more advanced sim in their career so maybe they earn a bigger wage maybe they pay more of the bills or something like that the other bedroom only has a single bed in but both bedrooms have the streaming deck thing i don't know what it's called but the video station where you can edit and film videos they both had that i didn't want to just put it in one of the bedrooms just because i wanted both of the people to live here to be in like the social media kind of branch or the youtuber kind of branch so i did just opt for a single bed in the other bedroom but as you can see i am just furnishing this bedroom i put in the painting which we got with get famous and literally ever since get famous came out i've been using that so much like i've literally been using that in every single one of our bills it feels like but i am just getting some debug menu items for this room so i just get some headphones like a mixtape a cell phone just some bits and bobs to make it seem more realistic and in this room i actually did something which i haven't actually thought of doing so with get famous we had like a dinosaur statue kind of thing and i thought it would look really cool if i could size it down and put it on top of the dresser and i don't really normally tend to put statues or anything like that on my dresses like this and it was something that i haven't done and it actually looks quite cool so i think i might be doing some more of that kind of stuff in the future but i am just finishing up this room now and i just added in some posters and just little bits and bobs just to make it like bring the room together this is where i add the streaming station i do actually extend this room just by one tile just so i could fit it in it doesn't actually affect the other room that much because i did kind of use a tile from their bedroom if you'd like it didn't really affect their room as much because that room doesn't actually have as much stuff as this room does um, but I am just finishing up this room now and I just added in a rug which I think is from the fitness stuff pack I'm not completely sure but anyway moving on I'm now onto the second bedroom so the first thing I actually put down in this room was the streaming station video station whatever it's called because I definitely wanted to fit it in here so I kind of put that in first so I could work around it so you can kind of see I added the cats and dogs bed which I really like and I like that it comes in a plain black swatch it just kind of it's, it's nice that we get stuff in plain swatches because a lot of the stuff that we do get we get it in like some crazy swatches and i'm just i really appreciate that we have this bed in just like a plain swatch because it's just like a nice bed for anyone of any age but you can kind of see this room does also have the exposed brick and i do add just some posters above the bed like maybe some events that they've been to and they get some stuff signed because they are the signed posters and I also just add some basketball looking posters just above the little streaming station as well. But I am going to end this voice over here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me build this YouTuber's apartment. You can download this apartment via the gallery. You can search for my origin ID, which is JessicaPyYT, or you can search for the hashtag JessicaPyYT. But as always, guys, if you did like this video and you do like my content, then please subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in my next Sims 4 speed building video. Bye, guys.